Joining us this morning to discuss this condition is Dr. Pramita Dwi Purwanto, a pediatrician specialist in gastrohepatology at MMC Hospital. Good morning, Dr. Pramita. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Good, oh, thank you. Yes. Hi. Yes. Thank you for joining us, Professor. Thanks, Doctor. I have a question. So this I'm is so actually sorry that I have. Yeah. 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 Sorry, Doctor. Go sorry. on. No. No. Problem. It's okay. Okay. So, um, so, yeah. so this is actually the first time I hear about gastrointestinal allergies. So, could you please explain what kind of gastrointestinal allergies do children usually experience? Yeah. So, gastrointestinal uh, allergy is a GI uh, manifestation of food allergy actually. Mm. Because you know that there is a wide range of allergic in uh, children from babies to uh, teens age. So uh, sometimes they eat something with mommy and daddy because there are uh, new restaurants coming to town. And then after that, usually they uh, having a stomach upset and then uh, nausea and then vomit. So the worry is because the children usually feel uh, ache, stomach ache, like colicky. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's uh, bothered the parents and uh, throw up uh, frequently. And if mom or dad uh, forget to give the uh, electrolyte or, or um, water or um, whatever uh, exists in, uh, at home mm -hmm. or at the restaurant. So usually uh, the child could become a dehydration. Yeah. So it's a, it's a scary one. But the most scary is the children, uh, they have a seafood allergy. And the acute reaction is usually uh, swollen of the their lips. Mm -hmm. We call it the annual yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, usually they have uh, uh, scratches everywhere, yeah, yeah. feel yeah. itchy. And then uh, they have urticaria. You know, urticaria in Indonesian Jakarta uh, nickname is kaligata. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Professor, um, yeah, I, I can I can attest to that. When I was younger, yeah. for some reason, every time I ate shrimps, mm -hmm. uh, yes. I would get these itchy kind of Itchy, around my swollen lips, lips yeah. right? Right, but yeah. then it, it went away as I got yeah. older, so yeah. I guess your body can adapt to it as well. <laughs> but how severe can this get? Yeah. Because if we're talking food allergies, Professor, I, myself, in high school, I actually lost a friend uh, who was uh, in high school. She was severely allergic to peanuts at oh. that time. Peanut oil was not yeah. announced as peanut oil. Like they would just kind of just, let's say you ordered French fries. Yeah. You wouldn't know what oil, if it was vegetable or nowadays they announce it that something is cooked because of cases like that. But how severe can this gastrointestinal allergies get, uh, doctor? Can it be life-threatening? Yes, of course. So uh, sometimes for peanut, it's, it's very scary because uh, I have uh, experience uh, uh, one time when I, I was in my practice so mom come with the, uh, not his child, but the other's child, because uh, they are, their child have changing, uh, changing a school with the foreign country. Mm -hmm. No know? foreign exchange. Uh, like that. So, right. yeah, so foreign exchanges. And uh, this, uh, this boy actually just only see the peanut that's uh, very wrapped in a, one of the most famous mini store mm. in um, our uh, uh, city. We have a uh, mini market, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the child uh, ended in PICU, pediatric ICU, because uh, he felt choking and could not breathe, mm -hmm. and he got uh, lip swollen and. Uh, cannot uh, breathe, so the mom uh, took him to a hospital nearby and the child was uh, admitted to the PICU. So uh, it is the scary one, but uh, sometimes the, the mom sometimes uh, miss the signs of 
one of the manifestation of food allergy in GI is uh, chronic diarrhea. Because you know that uh, when baby have uh, diarrhea, sometimes mom didn't know that this is diarrhea. Right. Especially when uh, the baby could not have uh, uh, milk from uh, or breast milk, uh, breastfeeding, so he or she only got the cold milk. Mm -hmm. So Very sometimes good. the baby have uh, you know. Uh, from it, but uh -huh. not too obvious, so we call him or her happy spitter. Yep. But you know that the, if we saw the growth start of these children, then don't uh, get along with the normal growth start, the WHO. So they have flat and then after that uh, going down. We call it the growth faltering. So it's, it's, it's very important this one because you know that this kind of uh, symptoms could uh, make our child uh, become a stunting. Oh because, no, uh, that's too a many huge proteins, issue. Yes, too many proteins losing from the entropathy, from the GI that have uh, not a good uh, shape, something like that. Yeah. That is so scary. Yeah. And, so yeah. Yeah. Is is uh, allergy hereditary, doctor? From the because you mentioned about the mom, mm -hmm. uh, hereditary, turunan, allergies. Oh, hereditary. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we don't have exactly the allergic uh, that uh, genetic mm. uh, origin like celiac disease. Mostly, it is uh, from uh, Western country. And you know that uh, nowadays we have many families, mixed families from uh, Indonesia, married mm -hmm. the uh, Western people. Yeah. So this could be happen. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. so it's actually good mixed but, race, uh, yeah. <laughs> mixed okay. race children. Taking the best of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I, I have a question, uh, Professor. My my wife, uh, before she was yeah. pregnant, she had allergies, but nothing too severe. But after uh, our first child, or where she was bearing our first child, she started developing allergies, and some of them became severe. We know because we had a dog in the house oh, that the we pug. could not have a dog anymore because yeah. she was severely allergic to the fur. Yeah. So if allergies can develop sometime during our lives, does this make it more difficult for us to track our kids' allergies? For example, if we test our kids for allergies and they're not allergic to much, how often do we need to get them tested to make sure they haven't developed any new allergies yeah. along the way? Okay, so, yeah, uh, I just wonder why uh, the parents like to test their child, <laughs> their children, yeah, because it's very uh, not nice, yeah. Actually, if the mom has the allergy condition, yeah, and she pregnant her uh, baby, yeah, uh, so when she could breastfed, mm -hmm. she have to avoid some milks and product of milk. Oh, okay. And then after six months, we can introduce uh, little by little, like um, egg, but we started from the white one, not the red one. And then after one year, probably mix. Right. If there isn't any uh, okay, symptoms. And you should see the growth start, the growth start should be normal. Right. Okay. And if baby could not have uh, breast milk because of some reason, uh, we can uh, give them the uh, special formula, milk formula. Mm. The milk formula contains only a small part of close milk because some of them was modified to have uh, no allergic or just a little bit. So uh, the baby will adapt to it. Uh, and then after okay. that, uh, with the time, the baby yeah. will achieve the uh, motivation of their uh, organs. Yeah. Including the uh, organs for, yeah. So it's like introducing it step by step. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so uh, Prof, uh, Indonesia started vaccinating children aged 6 to 11 uh, in December 2021. Yes. Are there, uh, any th is there anything that caregivers should be cautious about before having their children COVID vaccinated? Yeah, so there are two kinds of children. The children, the healthy ones, and the children with the special condition. Mm. Yeah, we can talk the special condition. The special condition is they have the active uh, acute disease or chronic diseases. Mm -hmm. Or they um, still consume uh, uh, some medication that uh, contain or uh, something that suppress their immunology. Yeah. Okay. Or they have uh, uh, cancer, something like that, or chronic kidney disease. Mm. So for this kind of uh, children, you should contact your uh, general pediatrician mm. Mm. or the subspecialist uh, special to the uh, specific condition because they can uh, help the vaccination, mm. but with uh, special uh, treatment. Mm. means that uh, we should uh, explore whether they have a stable condition if they have stable condition mm. six months after that mm. or so some condition is uh, very sometimes uh, they need six months sometimes one month one month mm. after the condition stable mm. okay this is belong to doctor okay so belong to mom and dad is a healthy children Okay, if they, uh, we have to, uh, because in Indonesia, the vaccine that uh, government has chosen to be, to give to uh, the children of Indonesia is the Sinovac. Yes. So, uh, we have all, almost all the adults uh, experience that, mm. and the adverse event is almost none. It's very small people who have adverse events, especially uh, redness in the uh, side of the vaccination, yeah. or a little bit swollen, or sometimes you feel like uh, something not nice in your arm, but you can still uh, playing or having whatever you like to do with your hand. Mm. Like that. Okay, so let's talk a little mm -hmm. bit about these adverse uh, events. Uh, these are uh, AEFI or adverse events following immunization. Yeah. Yeah. We know it mm -hmm. happens to adults as well. Yeah. We are aware of what of some of yeah. the symptoms are. Mm -hmm. Is it the same symptoms that we're mm -hmm. looking for in children as well, Professor? And as parents, what how do we handle it? Because okay. as adults, I, uh, there, there are certain ways that we, can, we're, we were told to handle it. Do we treat children in the same manner? Actually, it's quite the same. So, because uh, after the vaccination done, the children should be supervised within half an hour uh -uh. in the site of vaccination. Uh -uh. Okay. And they could not play by himself. Mom or dad should uh, observe their uh, child. Uh -uh. Okay. Uh, because the acute adverse reaction could happen in these uh, 30 minutes. Right. After the vaccination, uh, the mild one, the moderate one, usually vanishes um, uh, within 24 hours. However, the acute one, like simple, like choking, you can not uh, breathe, uh -huh. like uh, lips swollen, uh -huh. it could be happen, but it's very, 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 very rare. Uh -huh. Something okay. like that. Right. And, uh -huh. uh, I don't know the system yet because uh, if uh, in adult you have a reaction after at home for about one week, you can just go to Puskesmas or the one or the site you have vaccination. Hmm. So the children should uh, report to the you. You can see at the TV mm -hmm. they uh, get the vaccination in a school. So you uh, told the teacher that your probably uh, child having a fever, it's very high, something like that. Mm. So it should be, uh, yeah. 
We, uh, we report and then uh, bring them to the yeah. hospital. We would like to confirm, doctor, is it true that for ch uh, vaccination for children with allergies must be conducted in a hospital? If it is true, why? Okay, it is not uh, really true mm. because if the allergic is only mild, like yeah. sometimes uh, we thought uh, any new region, the children sometimes having a redness in their skin because they're playing around, they are uh, jumping, they are roll over, mm -hmm. you know. They, and sometimes, mom, I have a red dress, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we uh, just uh, you just uh, clean it up, and then uh, the redness will disappear. So it, it means it's only a mild or moderate one, so you can take your children to any site of vaccination, including school. Thank you for but your confirmation. But the severe one, mm. yeah, but the severe one, because of uh, if the children having uh, experienced uh, a very severe adverse event before mm. in the former vaccination, let's say the general vaccination so it should be in a hospital okay, okay. well like that's that. just in case because it's uh, it's yeah. uncertain just in case anything happens at least yeah. they're already there in the hospital yeah, and it because, can be handled right away yeah because we yeah. do know allergic reactions yeah. can be if can be fatal in some cases yeah. as well professor thank you yeah, so much in seconds thank you for your insight okay. into uh into this uh, deeper look because we're not aware as aware of this as we should be so no. thank you for that especially for those with kids at home okay thank you very much stay healthy and professor and bye okay. Take care. You. have a great day <laughs>